Hey everybody, welcome to my second live webinar. Um, just going to wait for a couple more people to uh, jump online and then we'll get going. Um, let me just check the chat box. Uh, type it in. Okay. Just waiting for a couple more and then we'll start in about a few seconds here. Okay, I'll get it from the start. Okay, perfect. We'll get going and people will slowly start start coming. But um, thank you all for joining this second live webinar uh, from Alex Opacic, founder of Athlete to Business. Um, this webinar will focus specifically on LinkedIn and how athletes can use LinkedIn to land their ideal job right now if, if that's what you're looking for uh, or if uh, you're an athlete using all this downtime at the moment to start building your uh, towards your post-sport career uh, and, and building yourself a network so once sport is really over obviously you will all you'll we'll all come back to, to playing soon but once sport is really over you'll have a number of uh, employment opportunities out there for you um, so, so how this one came about so as some of you would have seen the last webinar that I did, uh, focused on, uh, on on the job search process and how to land your ideal job. Uh, so a couple of athletes actually called me and a few emailed me and they ended up getting their ideal job from, from what I showed them. And um, the specifics that really helped them out was LinkedIn. Some of the things that they did on, on LinkedIn uh, really stood out to the hiring manager they were reaching out to. And um, a couple of them had about three or four interviews and uh, it, took, it took about a week and ended up getting their ideal job. So uh, I thought let's let's focus this one on LinkedIn and uh, go over some of those nitty gritty details that help some of those other athletes out uh, and see if it helps help some more people. Uh, if you have any questions throughout this, uh, just type it in the chat box there. Um, or if you can't think of any now, if something comes up later on, just feel free to email me. My email will show up at the end of this webinar. Um, so we'll get going. So I mentioned in my previous webinar. The whole process in regards to job searching at the moment is you have to be extremely proactive. So this will focus on how to get proactive on LinkedIn. So three things I'll cover. The first one is prospecting, how to find, firstly narrow down on an industry that's booming at the moment, how to find companies and hiring managers uh, for the company that you want to work for and the role that you want to apply for. Then uh, once we connect with them, we'll talk about sending a direct message to that hiring manager and I'll talk about the structure of that message. Uh, and then from there, we'll do a follow-up call and I'll talk about the structure for that follow-up call. And at the end, we'll briefly touch on a, on a project I'm working on at the moment, uh, which is an online course uh, for athletes to help them find another passion outside of their sport and it's called Another Plan A, uh, but I'll touch on that towards the end. Um, so to start off with, I'm going to assume that everybody here has their LinkedIn profile all set up. If you don't and you want some help with it, please put your email on the chat box there and I'll get in touch with you personally and over the next couple of weeks we'll, we'll put together your LinkedIn profile. Uh, but before I get going on to the three topics I want to talk about, your LinkedIn profile needs to screen athlete. That's how you're going to stand out. When people think of athletes, and obviously this is true, uh, you're proactive, you're competitive, you're resilient, you're disciplined, you're determined, passionate, and you're a go-getter. That's what your profile needs to scream out. And there's a variety of other things you can do with your LinkedIn profile. Post content, publish articles. LinkedIn allows you to, uh, to publish your own blog at the moment on your profile. So you can do that. Comment on other people's posts, like things, share things. There's a number of things you can do on LinkedIn outside of what I'll talk about that will uh, help you grow your personal brand and stand out in the market as not only a uh, elite level professional in your sport, but an elite level professional in, in the business world as well. It all helps towards your post sport career. So to get going again, I mentioned the whole job search process at the moment is all about being highly proactive. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to start prospecting for businesses that you want to work for within the right industry. So to start off with, let's note your research down. So open up an Excel document and write down about 10, if you want to do more, up to you, 10 companies that you want to work for. And you write down the company name the hiring manager for the role that you're applying for 
and then their phone number, okay? Write that down for as many companies as you can on an Excel document. And this will all make sense to, to what we're doing this in a second. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to connect with those hiring managers on LinkedIn. Uh, okay, so let me give you an example of, of how to do that and, and what I mean. All right, so I'm going to share my screen with everybody. So excuse me if this takes a second. Still uh, learning how to do this. Okay. That should have worked. And I'm going to expand on that. Okay, perfect. So one of the industries that's booming at the moment, uh, and it's actually where a couple of those athletes got, got some jobs in, is e-commerce. As you, can man as you can imagine, most businesses at the moment are, are trying to sell some sort of online product because in-person things are just illegal or whatever, however you want to look at it. Uh, including myself, I'm trying to build a, a few online products myself. So e-commerce is massively booming at the moment. So let's say you want to be, this is just going to be an example again, plug in your own role that you want to work for or, or network that you're going to build towards. Um, but let's say you, you want to work in e-commerce uh, as, a, as a digital marketing manager or a social media coordinator. So to get proactive, we're going to type into the Google search box e-commerce agencies in Sydney. Again, plug in where, wherever city you live at. You press enter. As you can see, a lot of e-commerce agencies have popped up on my Google search. Again, I mentioned earlier, write down 20 companies, write down 30, as many as you can. The more companies you reach out to, the more your network expands, the more chance you have of landing your ideal role. So a couple of stand out to me. We got News Extend here, growth marketing agency in Sydney. So let's have a look at them. Uh, okay, News Extend website looks good. Straight away, I can find their phone number in the contact section there, uh, down to the bottom. Uh, let's see where their phone number is. There. Okay, they're based in Surrey Hills. I believe it's a 1300 number in Sydney. Yep, 1300 935 Okay, so News Extend, we have their phone number. They're based in Surrey Hills in Sydney. Now, let's connect with the hiring manager. So open up your LinkedIn uh, homepage. We're at the homepage there. Uh, in the search box, we're going to type in News Extend. All right, I was, obviously, I've researched that earlier, so I've typed them in as my past searches. Okay, so News Extend comes up. This is their uh, LinkedIn profile uh, or their business profile on, on their LinkedIn page. I can see they have 71 employees. Let's click on that. Cool. So I want to be a social media coordinator. Who would be the manager or the person I need to get in touch with? If you're not sure, get in touch with everybody and then just obviously introduce yourself in, in the direct message and I'll come back to that shortly. But we can see here this person here is a key account manager. Cool, yep, that would be a good one. Connect, send invitation. Uh, digital account coordinator, that would also be a good one. She might not be the decision maker, but she could be somebody you can potentially work with. And if you build reports, she might connect you to the decision maker. So let's connect with that person as well. Um, but ultimately, it seems like the decision maker would be this person here, Thomas Mayers. <laughs> Uh, he's a senior SME product engagement specialist, so he would most likely be the one interviewing anyone else who wants to be a social media coordinator for News Extend. So we're going to connect with him, and then we're going to note his name down, Thomas Mayer, and then put it on your Excel document, okay? Simple as that. Let's look at another company here as well, uh, Mind Arc Digital Agency. Uh, again, let's look at their website. MindArk looks good. So Australia's top shop, Shopify Plus partner. Again, everybody's trying to get on Shopify, sell online products. These guys are helping helping him do that. So again, they're probably booming at this stage. MindArk, let's try and find their number. Okay, so they're based in uh, in the city. Uh, there we go. They have a 1300 number as well. Note that down. All right. More importantly, let's connect with the hiring manager. So MindArk, let's jump on LinkedIn again. Uh, I'm going to type in Mind Arc. Cool, Mind Arc Digital Agency Sydney. That's them. Easy. We can see they have 26 employees. You click on that. 
Okay, so again, I want to be a social media manager, social media coordinator. Out of these three people that have popped up, most likely decision maker, I mean, feel free to connect with everybody. Most likely decision maker will be head of technology at Mindark, uh, digital agency. So let's connect with him. And then note that person's name down, John Vella. Okay, awesome. The other thing you can do as well, uh, if you're if you don't want to go through Google, all you can all you do is you just type in uh, so social media coordinator, marketing managers would most likely be the people that would hire me if I want to work as a social media coordinator. So let's type in marketing manager Sydney. Enter. So then you click onto the people tab right there. Uh, then you click onto the location. So you can even take, you don't have to type in Sydney on the search bar there. You, you get it here in the location, click Sydney, apply. So all the people that are marketing managers in Sydney, well not all, but a lot of people that are marketing managers in Sydney will pop up on the search and just start connecting with them. So obviously the companies that appeal to you. So we have here uh, Kurt Warren, marketing manager at the Star Sydney. Perfect. Connect with that person, send an invitation and so on. Sydney Festival, connect with that person. Perfect. Okay, so once you've connected with everybody, I'll just jump back on my screen. Uh, exit out. Stop sharing. Uh, let me just put the layout back on. Okay. Perfect. Some answer questions. Fantastic. So that's the process of researching the companies you want to work for and connecting with the hiring managers or the right decision makers uh, on, on LinkedIn. From here, um, let's reach out to that hiring manager directly through a direct message. So how you do that, once that person's connected with you, um, you you'll have capability to, to send that direct message. Before I, before I get to that, just real quick, I've noted it there. The process of connecting with the hiring manager is right there. You can do the same thing for jobs that you apply for and seek. So note down the company, note down or find the hiring manager. And most likely on the job ads on seek, the hiring manager, their name will be on that, on that um, advertisement. Connect with them on LinkedIn as well. So hit, hit the connect button. Cool. So the next stage is the direct message. So once somebody has accepted your connection, you can send them a direct message from there. So this is where the magic happens. This is your chance to land your ideal job or make a connection for a post-sport career as well. The thing that it does with, with direct messages, it shows that you're assertive. It shows that you're a go-getter. It shows that you're proactive. And it's starting to give people proof of your transferable skills from sport, right? You're doing something about creating a career for yourself, a post-sport career, or you're proactively getting a job right now. So don't be afraid to do it. It's not intrusive. That's what LinkedIn is for. It's a professional social media. I don't really like to call it social media. It's a professional connecting platform. It's where you build your professional, personal brand. So go ahead and connect with as many people as possible. All right, so the structure of that direct message, I've got it down into four categories. To start off with, we're going to need a compliment. Then we're going to go into the introduction. Then a valid reason of why you're messaging them. And then the close. So the compliment, so not to sound weird or anything like that, but most people want to be complimented in life. Most people want to be told that they're doing well. So if you start off your message, even if they're extremely successful and they get it all the time, believe me, people still love hearing that they're doing well. So if you start off your message with a compliment off the bat, it just gets people's attention. It releases positive, happy endorphins. Uh, so compliment is a great way to, it's, it's like a wow factor to the direct message. Um, so the compliment needs to be genuine and real. And some of the best ways to go about finding a compliment for a hiring manager that you're, or decision maker that you're sending the message to, check out their LinkedIn profile and check out their most recent activities. 
if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see people's activities and do their posts, certain posts that they do, or maybe a blog article that they've written. And if it really resonates with you, tell them, hey, I love the most recent blog article you wrote on XYZ. It really resonated with me. Uh, I've now I've now implemented these skills. Um, so that's one way. Look at the activities. The other way is research them outside of LinkedIn and see some of the accomplishments that they've or, or results that they've had from the company they've worked for, or if they've helped the company come to a certain um, point over a couple of years, or have helped with, with business growth. Again, it needs to be a genuine compliment. If you can't find a genuine compliment, you can skip that part. But it, it's it, it is time consuming. But the more research you do, again, that compliment will really stand out. After the compliment, you go into the introduction. So, hi, my name is John Smith. Um, uh, I'm currently an elite athlete ready to transfer all the skills and attributes of game from sport into being a social media coordinator or into the business space. So just a quick introduction about yourself. Why you're reaching out is the next part. So compliment introduction. I'm reaching out, wanted to get in touch with yourself, see if you might potentially be hiring a social media coordinator. Uh, my skills off XYZ, I believe, will be highly valuable to your business and helping you towards business growth. All your reach out methods need to have some sort of strategy or mention of business growth. I'm helping you with uh, helping your business grow from this amount of dollars to that amount of dollars, or just general helping you with your business growth because that's what business is all about. It's about growth, making more money. So if you're able to bring value in that sense, people will love that and uh, their ears will perk up and pay attention to, to your profile. Uh, after the reason, we're going to go to the close. And close is like, if you're interested, uh, would love a couple of minutes of your time for a quick introductory phone call, if that's okay with you. So a bit of a softer approach, but opening up saying, hey, would love to give you a call, introduce myself in person and give you the values that I would bring to, to your company. So I've got an example here of what that would look like. Uh, and feel free to take a screenshot of this. Uh, if you want, I can um, uh, e email me afterwards and I can send you this directly. Also, if you wanted to work one-on-one -on -one with me, we can come up with a tailored approach to exactly the job that you're looking for or the network that you want to build for yourself post-sport. Um, but there's an example of a LinkedIn message. This is, again, this is generic. So, hi, John. Your most recent post about your top five business books inspired me to purchase two of them, and I'm thoroughly enjoying them. So thank you. Again, that's the compliment. I'm an elite athlete who has competed at the highest level in my sport and now ready to transfer the skills and attributes I learned from sport into managing business social media accounts. So be very specific, all right? So you want to work as a social media coordinator or a social media manager, that's what you're transferring your skills to. You want to be a salesperson, that's what you're transferring your skills to. You want to be an accountant, X, Y, Z. So make it as specific as possible. Now we're going to go into the valid reason of why you're messaging them. I wanted to touch base and see if you might potentially be hiring a social media manager. With the discipline, work ethic, and time management skills I have gained from sport and with the experience in managing professional social media accounts, I strongly believe uh, I will be a valuable asset to your business. Now we're going to go into the close. If you're interested, I'd love to organize an introductory phone chat to give you further insight into my capabilities and how I can contribute to your business growth. Again, all about business growth. And you can write something like, looking forward to hearing from you. So. Note that down because later on we're going to go into a follow-up phone call if they haven't gotten back to you. If you're an athlete who's not particularly looking for a job now because your sport's going to come back in a month, couple of months, uh, obviously Olympics are back uh, next year. Fingers crossed this all uh, goes away as soon as possible. Um, but if you're just simply looking to build your network uh, towards a successful post-sport career, um, Slightly adjust that message to future tense. So uh, you can see that's an example of somebody who just wants to build a network there. Um, it's simply just talking about how you have a deep passion for social media or how you have a deep passion for business growth through social media. So opening up and talking about your post-sport passion or your post-sport um, goals that you're trying to attain to. And then at the end, instead of the close, being would love to have an introductory phone chat about my values for right or about my value to your business for right now ask them a question it's it's being very intuitive which is what people want but something along the lines of if you don't mind 
I'd love to ask for your expertise on things I could be doing right now to ensure I'm a successful social media manager in the future. Um, so people love that. Uh, it, it tells them that they're the expert. Well, this person's coming to me. They see me as an expert. They ask me the question, this question. What an interesting background, elite athlete. Wow. Uh, great. I'd love to connect with that person. Believe me, that's what people would be thinking. So you can send that message to a number of different hiring managers, decision makers, CEOs, managing directors while you're doing nothing at the moment or you've got some downtime. Uh, even even uh, while one, one sport starts back up again, whenever you have some free time, go for it. Network on LinkedIn as, as much as possible. So that's the message to, to send for people who are just looking to uh, network. And uh, there you go. Get, get direct messaging. Connect. Once they accept your connection, send a direct message. Um, from there, we come to the follow-up call. So the the hit rate uh, from, from experience, the hit rate's about 50%. You're probably going to get, yeah, 50% of the people you reach out to right back to you. Um, some don't, uh, depending on, on how you tailor the message to each person, right? So from there, it, it's highly important that you keep a note of everybody you send the message to. So that's why earlier I mentioned on an Excel document, Keep the company name, the hiring manager, and their phone number. Give it about four or five days. If they don't write back to you, follow them up with a phone call. That shows another step of being proactive, another step of taking initiative, and another step of, of you being highly, highly competitive, right, which is what you are. So it's showing the transferable skills. It's giving proof of the transferable skills in sport. So when you're creating your phone call, or when you're doing your phone calls, the first thing you're going to come up against is the gatekeeper. In most cases, you shouldn't have too many problems with the gatekeeper. Just say, hey, I'm looking to get in touch with, with John Smith in regards to the social media manager job. Um, or if you're looking to network with people, you can say the same thing. Like getting through to the gatekeeper should take a minute or two. Uh, don't spend too long in explaining to the gatekeeper of why you are calling. Um, just ask for John Smith or whoever directly. Okay, so once you get connected to the hiring manager that you sent the direct message to on LinkedIn, it's simply just relaying that message on LinkedIn, really, on the, on the phone call. But uh, switch it the other way around. So do a quick introduction. Hey, I'm, I'm uh, Alex Opatrich, uh, elite athlete. Wanted to get in touch with you in terms of uh, working as a social media coordinator. Uh, just quickly, really loved the, uh, the, recent blog, the recent post that you did in terms of your top five business books. So again, Put the compliment in there as well. If it's a genuine compliment, they would absolutely love that on the phone call. And then it just opens up a discussion. On the phone call, it should probably be just a general discussion. And they're probably going to be really in, 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 uh, interested in your uh, sporting background and start asking questions. So it just opens up room for a discussion. Um, so again, the purpose of the phone call is, hey, I'm following up from my LinkedIn message. Um, would love to have a quick chat to you if you had some time now. I always ask their permission if they have some time now. Um, and then uh, if you're calling them to connect for future, if you're trying to build your business network, network again, again, same thing, just following up on my LinkedIn message. I want to know if you can give me some, some of your expertise on some of the things that I could be doing right now to ensure that I'm a successful social media manager or social media coordinator in the future. So reaching out like that as, uh, as much as you can. Don't be afraid to make that phone call. I know it's a little bit... Um, could be nerve-wracking, could be daunting, but believe me, people will absolutely love that. You are showing 100% initiative, so go ahead and make the phone call. So just to recap, um, the, some of the other things that some of the other things that you could be doing, I mentioned at the start as well on LinkedIn, is um, uh, posting, starting your blog posts on LinkedIn. Again, I mentioned LinkedIn gives you a capability to start to publish your own blog through their platform. Um, Comment on other people's posts, like things, share things that resonate with you. So that's all towards building your post for personal brand. But again, it's showing your written skills. It's showing even, you can even post videos. It's showing some of your oral communication skills. Anything that shows your transferable skills from sport into the business world is going to be a plus. And this costs absolutely nothing. It's all free. So have some downtime. Go for it. Um, so just to recap on how to proactively network outside of those other things that I just mentioned you could be doing, uh, prospecting for companies within industries that are booming right now, 
connect with the hiring managers on LinkedIn, send a direct message on LinkedIn, and then follow up with a phone call four or five days later. Simple as that. Let's hope people that are listening to this also land the jobs that uh, the athletes that listened to my previous webinar uh, did, as, did as well and get more of those successful phone calls. Love hearing from you guys. Um, okay, so just to recap quickly, I mentioned at the start, I'm creating an online course for athletes at the moment that helps them find another passion outside of sport. The biggest reason that I struggled transitioning from basketball for about almost two years is because I have no other passions and I really had no other definitive skill sets or even a network on anything outside of basketball. So I'm creating a course at the moment that will help you discover another passion, more importantly, or if you already have a passion, more importantly, the skill sets to go and pursue that passion and become extremely successful in it. So as you can see, some of the things that I'll teach is uh, more in depth about LinkedIn and how to set up your profile, how to use it outside of the direct messaging and connecting, and how to set up your PDF resume as well. Uh, job searching process, I'll teach you guys how to dominate job interviews. Sales and negotiation skills, I don't care what industry you wanna go work in, sales and negotiation skills matter for any industry. And if you become an exceptional negotiator, you will get ahead in any industry that you want to get ahead in. Uh, and then most importantly, the first three months in your new job post-sport are highly daunting. I started out, again, I, I could be an exception, but I've heard you know, a, lot of, a lot of athletes have had the same. Uh, I started out, when I first retired from basketball, I, I changed jobs about eight times within the first year because those first, first month, first two months were horrible. But it was my fault, not their fault. So uh, I'm going to put together, putting together a course on how to best impress in those first three months of your new job. So all that is usually valued at $600 plus, including the PDF resume. At the moment, I'm taking pre-registrations. If you just click on the offer tab below for $49.95. So if you're interested, pre-register. If you want to ask more questions, get in touch with me directly. Um, here are my contact details. If anyone has any questions, you know, just want a general chat about post-sport career opportunities, how to up upskill yourself, how to find your passion, anything at the moment. I'm open to Zoom calls, phone calls, um, anything that suits you. So that's my number. That's my email address. Uh, hope you got some value out of that. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. And I uh, look forward to staying in touch with all you guys. And please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, LinkedIn. Take care, guys. Cheers.